Hey, what's going on, guys? I came across this article. just wanted to record a brief video because it's a really interesting story on how companies can use uh, stock-based compensation in order to drive free cash flow. Uh, now, this article, Why Atlassian is now one of the world's most expensive tech stock. Uh, they just released their financials uh, last month, and they lost on paper $600 million dollars but the stock is going crazy because their free cash flow is also going crazy. I'm going to show you sort of um, on paper that nuance. So if you don't know Atlassian, they um, offer Jira, which is like a ticket management software for developers to help them do uh, QA. They also own Confluence and they recently purchased Chartio, the data visualization tool. So big brand, one of the biggest companies coming out of Australia and uh, an all around amazing company because of their SaaS business model. So there's a lot to like here. So um, let's walk through a couple particulars. So when we look at their uh, cash flow statement, here's their cash flow statement. And you can see they are generating year in, year out, a tremendous amount of free cash flow. Now to calculate the free cash flow, all we're doing is doing uh, cash flow from operations here, minusing out our capital expenditures, and that's how we get to the free cash flow. One of the most important metrics in business, businesses die when they run out of money. So if you're churning out and producing a lot of cash flow, that in a lot of ways is much, much more important than your net income um, in, in one particular period. So let me show you uh, how this is sort of broken down. Uh, just one quick slide. You can see that they're um, outperforming the NASDAQ index as a whole um, because primarily because of that free cash flow generating machine that they have going on. And of course, their, their SaaS business model. So here was their income statement. And as you can see, um, in June 30th, 2022, they posted a loss of $600 million. Now, why, what is uh, sort of contributing to that loss? What's contributing to that loss is because they're using a very, very aggressive stock-based compensation strategy, right? Now, with stock-based compensation, you're not paying your employees cash, right? So there's no there's no credit or leaving of the leaving of cash to the bank account to pay employees. You're paying them with capital, right? You're paying them with capital. So let me show you essentially uh, how this how this sort of breaks down. So um, stock options and restricted stock are a form of what we know, what we call deferred compensation. So the employee receives the right to purchase shares at a future date at some predetermined price. Now, for the benefit of the company, the value of the option is the compensation expense, and it gets allocated as the best, as the vesting period goes. Now, there are three primary reasons, as I have here, that you would use this strategy. Number one, it saves cash, right? Because you're not paying the employees in cash every two weeks or through the payroll system, you're giving them these stock options. Uh, number two, it's a strategy to retain employees. So right now, uh, the economy is tough. Um, there's a scarcity of quote unquote uh, hiring. There's just a lot of dynamics. So companies want to keep their top employees, rewarding them with equity is obviously a good move. And then you have the alignment of incentives where the, obviously, the managers and the shareholders want to grow the business, um, and the and if the employees can benefit through the ownership of equity, obviously that is uh, good for everyone. So here's an example of like what this would look like from a cash management strategy. So the board gets together and they say uh, we're going to issue some stock options. So I just have this super hypothetical example. So let's say Alaskan has 250 key employees that they want to maintain and they want to give each one uh, stock options in January uh, 1st, 2021 and they vest over four years. So four years is sort of uh, common. And the option allows the employees to purchase the stock at $115 at the end of the four year vesting period. There's a one year cliff, meaning that if the employees leave in one year, they get nothing. 
uh, and the value of the option is $75. Uh, now you can use the Black Shows model, uh, which is far outside the, the purpose of this video to calculate the options, but here's essentially what the journal entry would look like. So the compensation expense, so you got 250 employees, each one has a thousand stock options and the value of those options are 75. So you're just multiplying that straight through. And then this hypothetical example, that gives us 18,750,000. Now remember, you don't really write that off all in that same year. This has to be allocated over the four year vesting period, all right? So in terms of the journal entry, you see what's happening here is at the end of 2001, uh, the compensation expense, this 4,687,000 gets written off and the paid in capital stock, this is their journal entry. Now, keep in mind, you're not essentially paying the employees this $406 million in this hypothetical example, uh, you're paying them with the stock option. All right. So that's what's happening here. If I go back to this slide, that's what's happening here. They wrote off 700 million in uh, deferred compensation and sort of uh, the cap, the, the compensation expense from the stock options, right? This was the allocated portion for that year, as you can see, significantly higher than in 2021. And that's why the net profit. That's why the net profit is negative is because they use the stock-based compensation. It's a phenomenal strategy for right now. Their stock is going through the roof. Um, they're able to retain great employees uh, theoretically uh, with this strategy. And most importantly, it keeps cash in the company. Um, and that is, a, is always a, a winning move. So hopefully this was uh, helpful. Um, just trying to do more videos like this to, to talk about cash flow and, and different strategies we can deploy. Talk to you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.